Welcome back to another studio vlog. It seems like it's been a long time since I filmed one of these and so it was really good to be able to get back into the studio and get back into my painting after a slightly strange start to the year. Um, yeah, and get in there with my camera and just show you what I've been up to. The painting time lapse you're watching at the moment is the start of a new series. I'm doing some spring landscapes for a change and using lots of beautiful greens. Some of the landscapes are going to be night and summer day, so um, I've started with the night. I think I feel more comfortable working on night landscapes, um, so I decided to start with those. And this is what you're going to be watching the progression of while I chat about other things. Close to curtains You'll be mainly watching the progression of one painting while I film this time lapse, but you will notice another one makes an appearance at the beginning here. That was because I'd mixed up more than enough paint and so I decided to fill in the sky on a second painting as well. Firstly, I want to remind you that there is something exciting coming up. Well, it's exciting news for me and my career and I'll be able to announce that in the next vlog because the announcement is being made next week. I think it's on the 24th of February. So if you're interested, keep an eye on my Instagram. You'll see the link to my Instagram underneath this video or also I mention it at the end as well usually so if you're interested in finding out what's going on please follow me on there but I'll certainly be mentioning it in an upcoming vlog. So the other exciting thing that's been happening is that I finally set up a Patreon page. Now for those of you who don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a way to support creators and artists and also receive some great rewards and exclusive online content in return. I'll put a link in the description box underneath this video and also another mention of it at the end so if you'd like to check out my page to see what it's all about you can do that. You'll be able to see the full list of rewards on there and the type of online content you can expect to receive. But just know that there's absolutely no pressure to support me on Patreon. I will continue making videos on this channel in the same way as I have been doing for the past year. I absolutely love the community on here and I really enjoy making these for you. Um, it's a great document for me as well to be able to look back and see what I was working on a few months ago and see what my thoughts were and I just I love this way of documenting my work and my life and in fact this is why I called my channel Natasha Newton Art and Life because it's a bit of a mixture of the two but yeah the Patreon thing is just basically um, an addition for people who would like a little bit of extra online content and would love to receive some goodies in the post from me and handwritten postcards and things like that um, and get lots of little extras so yeah check it out if you're interested but if not that's absolutely fine and I thought you'd change but you go back to the same
The other day we went to an antique centre in Dorking and I wasn't actually planning on buying anything. The trip was just to get us out of the house for a couple of hours and go somewhere different and have a little look around. So the first piece is this gorgeous little letter rack. I love the fact that it looks old and it looks used. It actually looks like somebody could have made it in woodworking class from, I don't know, maybe back in the, back in the 30s or something. Um, I don't know the age of it. You would have to ask Dominic about things like that because he's much better at knowing the details of antiques and vintage stuff. But um, I really like this. It was £10 and I thought it would be great on the desk in the office. I need somewhere to put um, receipts and like little, whenever I'm writing little notes to myself so I don't forget things. They end up all over the place and I thought, actually, this is a great little storage item and I could just pop them in there and then I won't have a problem. There won't be piles of paper everywhere. I just took a quick break to unwrap this because the man had very kindly put it in bubble wrap to protect it. But as you can see, this is a larger letter rack. So this could be for any mail I have or any invoices or whatever. And um, before they're filed away properly, they can go in here. I also thought that I could perhaps use these as props for displaying um, artwork and postcards for like the photo shoots I do for those, like the product shoots. So that's another possibility, but they're both going to basically live on the desk in the office and just keep everything a lot more organized and tidy. I think this one was 19 pounds. Um, what I love about antique and vintage items is that you're getting something with history and something that's really unique and a one-off. I have quite a few pieces of furniture that are new. I have some stuff from Ikea, but I love mixing it in with vintage pieces that I found at auction or, you know, in an antique centre or whatever. And I think it just gives a nice feeling to have a mix of old and new. The third piece is this gorgeous mint green enamelled bin. I don't know whether this would have been a kitchen item years ago, whether it once had a lid or not, but it's the perfect little waste paper bin. Um, it was gonna go in the office under the desk in there, but I'm very tempted to use it in the studio because I think it really suits the colours in here. This is just perfect. It's useful, it's unique. I love the way, if I can focus in on that a bit, the way old enamel things get slightly chipped and worn and it gives them so much character. I think that's just so lovely. It was £28, so it was quite expensive, but it's such a unique object and it's also incredibly heavy and great quality and it's something that's going to last for years. So there you go, that's my mini antiques haul and I'm sure you'll see these pieces in future vlogs. some of the recent things I've been working on 
Um, they're all finished apart from this one, which is still in progress, as you can see. This is my attempt at hand lettering, and I think it's actually going quite well. This is something I don't do very often, so I need quite a bit of practice. Um, don't judge <laughs> the, the of the at the bottom because that is still in progress and I need to add night on here too. But it's going to be a picture of a bird on a branch looking up at the night sky and the stars. So um, yeah, I hope to get that one finished over the next couple of days. I think you saw me working on this one in the last vlog and I also did this at around the same time. This is a new one from my Indigo Rain Cloud series. These were created in watercolour and gouache. Oh, by the way, this one is um, Holbein acrylic gouache with the lettering in FW acrylic ink. Um, so yes, those two are both finished. Uh, this one is also finished. This is a new one from, well, this is actually a new series I'm doing a series of spring paintings but I wanted some of them to be night landscapes and some of them to be day so this is going to be called spring night and as you can see I've used a lot of green which is something I'm getting into at the moment and it's highly patterned this one took quite a while because of all the detail another piece I finished recently is this original painting on a vintage observers book now this has also featured in a previous video, but maybe you'd like to see it again and up close so you can see all of the detail. Um, this one will be in the next shop update, um, as will this, 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 and potentially this. <laughs> um, I've also been making some other little stones. So we have this little piece, which will be in the next update. The one with the tree is actually um, one of Dominic's Christmas presents. I have it in here at the moment because it needed to be varnished. The final pieces I wanted to show you today were these five little birds on pieces of found beach pottery. So I used um, black acrylic paint for the base and white acrylic ink for the details. So these are just a few of the paintings I've been working on recently. I have quite a few more in progress, so I'll show you those next time. Um, a big thank you to you all for watching and an extra big thank you to my patrons. Um, please, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button and perhaps even consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.